Oh, what is going on, everybody? <laughs> Hello. It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials Tribulations. We left off. We've gone to court as Edgeworth as Defender, and yeah. Von Karma's back. And it's all oh, wild fucking ride. And I'm doing like what three voices at once. We keep bouncing between. <laughs> it's like, oh, I have more voices this time, and then all the people disappear. Now you've got more voices this time. We're just playing <sighs> juggle with the voices at this point. <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna go with it and see what happens. Now so. I know how you feel when you have uh, both prosecution and defense and a witness. Yeah. I can <laughs> only imagine. Back and forth I against can each only other all the imagine time. how that is. Oh God. All right, anyways, go ahead and proceed as Lady Bikini over here, yeah. Sister Bikini. When I looked across at the scene, the sword was already in place. <laughs> Thinking about it now, I didn't actually see her stab, Mr. Galise. I've never seen so much blood before. That's when I fainted. You can't blame me, can you? And when I awoke, Mr. Yami was... was stabbing Mr. Galise through the back. Mmm! Well, this all confirms Miss Von Karma's theory. Von Karma strives for nothing but perfection. Putting together such facts is nothing for me. You should know that, Miles Edgeworth. Perfection is an impossibility, Francesca Von Karma. He learned that the hard way. <sighs> and I'm here to teach you just that. All right, so let's get down to these further details. So, It's let's so see. cool how, like, they were both, you know under the same person and now they're going against each other yeah all right so the link sword is already in place think about it now i didn't actually see her stab miss okay that's, that's important a, that's a big thing yeah. yeah we'll probably press that i've never seen so much blood before wait because we were just talking about that before about the exit wound thing yeah of it. so when i came fan came up me can you can't blame everyone i woke this time we were stabbing miss Elise through the back all right so let's try and push uh, the sword already being in place. Yeah. At that time, was the victim bleeding? Well, I was very shocked to be seeing all this, of course. So I'm not entirely sure. But I don't think I saw any blood. Not then. I'm sure that you didn't. The weapon was acting as a plug in the wound. In any case, let's be clear on one very important point. Did you actually see the instant in which the victim was stabbed? Hmm... Anyway, now I didn't actually see Miss Glee stab So her. she's not an eyewitness then. <laughs> All right. Technically. Yeah. Think carefully. This is very important. It is Iris we're talking about here. I'm thinking for all I'm worth. Hmm. No. When I looked over, the sword was already in Mister Glee's body. Hmm. <laughs> it might not be conclusive, but this testimony supports her theory. Yeah. The victim was stabbed in her room and then dropped into the courtyard. I think this proves it rather well, Miles Edgeworth. Mm. Mm. Never seen so much blood before. So you're saying that you saw the victim's blood? D -d That's right! Some of it had splattered on the iris, too. When the defendant was arrested, she was meditating in her room, and her blood flecked clothing was nearly neatly folded in the corner. But what? <laughs> her clothes were blood flecked as well? That's not good. Mmm, that seems quite conclusive to me. What should I do? Press this point further? <sighs> Go ahead and see. She could have first. easily, like, pulled the sword out, maybe. Let's press what? further and see what keeps going. Going back to your previous statement. You said that you saw a little bleeding when the victim was stabbed. But now you say you saw the victim bleeding? Well, well, like, I say that what I saw is what I saw. What, 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 what did you say? <laughs> Maybe I didn't see the poor woman get stabbed. But I saw the girl pull the sword out of her, plain as day. I knew it. <laughs> Pulling the sword That's out? That's how she got blood on her. Well, it wasn't exactly pulling. It was more like it came out. But <laughs> Witness, you will add a statement to your testimony. Oh, was that important? <laughs> more important than you can imagine. Yes. God. All right. I saw the instant in which the blade plunged into the hilt was smoothly drawn out. Let's talk about that. Smoothly. smoothly, you say? You're saying you saw the sword smoothly slide out. That's right. The whole thing happened right next to the gold statue of Mr. Kami. <laughs> Mr. Kalis was on the ground and I was stooped over her. The sword was buried up to the hilt. 
When I was stood up, the sword in your hand just slid out of Mr. Galatia's body. It slid out from that gaping wound. <laughs> Goes without saying that if the sword was removed, there should there would be bleeding. Nothing out of place here. Is that really the case? I can't help but feel that something about this testimony is very out of place. I think maybe she was trying to help <clears throat> her somehow? Maybe I don't that, know. <laughs> that something which couldn't possibly have happened appears to have happened. Because she was supposed to be... Oops. Like, the whole dead before hitting the ground thing. And if she was on the ground alive, like, they're... I, I don't know. So, I have a couple things. Like, she well, was stabbed and then fell, but how could she have been stabbed if the sword was on on the ground level with the statue? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, my number one like, thing... Like, that's weird. Well, number one thing is that they're not really going with that, but I'm wondering if, number one, it could be that it couldn't have been smoothly pulled out because, you know, it's jagged as oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because, I mean, to be fair, like, with that kind of sword, also we should speak, is that, like... That's not going to be a very nice exit wound. No. Like, when you got a normal sword, like the very tip, you know, that that's those Especially are smooth those, entrance those and exit wounds. with two prongs wounds. on the side on the tip, that's, that's literally gonna going to rip you. It, it's just going to rip stuff. So It's going to rip your body, like, out from itself. <laughs> yeah, so it could be the sword, because I don't know if there's anything else mm. going through if I go to the end. Did of, you save? I just saved. Oh. Uh, the, wait, the crime scene photo says it's still there. That's also a thing. Yeah. Um, so that might be it also. Cause that's like, cause if, if, the, if the statue is holding the sword, how could Elise be trying to pull it out? You know? Yeah. So, it looks like the only two I'd have would either be the Shishido or the photo. I'm actually gonna go with the photo now, cause I just realized we yeah. have that photo that shows the sword still in her. So... Wow, that's not it. Uh, okay. It must be the, our, our previous thing that we were thinking. The actual sword. Yeah, and I was on. Yeah, because it, it it ain't no smooth, hell, smooth drawn out. sailing. No. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. We okay, were, so we it's the sword. Right. Yeah. I was thinking too far ahead already. Yeah. Sister Bikini, you are a reliable witness. At least I'd like to think so. There are too many contradictions here. But what do you mean? You make it sound as though I'm a liar. But you're a handsome young man, so I'll forgive you. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> what contradictions are you talking about? In the scene that the witness claims to have seen, the weapon was thrust up to its hilt into the victim. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, the killer withdrew the weapon smoothly from the body. However, both of these are complete impossibilities. Yeah. <laughs> That's so many boxes she's standing <laughs> yeah. on. God. What do you mean? Uh, explain yourself. To start with, do you think it would be possible to stab someone with the hilt to the hilt with this? No. No matter how we look at the defendant, she doesn't appear strong enough for that. Uh-uh. Doesn't appear? What meaningless dribble! I too may appear to be weak and frail, but I can crush men under my heel and make them weep should I so choose. <laughs> the objection stands! I wept a little back there, I must admit. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't the only issue here. If this sword was truly stabbing the body up to the hilt, well... Just look at all the branches on it. Yeah. It certainly wouldn't come out smoothly. No. Th that's... We also have the problem <laughs> of the amount of bleeding. It's true that when the blade is left in the body, it acts as a plug of sorts. However, when the weapon is shaped yeah. like this, it's an entirely different story. That's right, because there's like a lot of... said. Yeah, there's... <laughs> there's too many things that, that's causing way too many fucking there's holes a lot in there. Of, that yeah, there's a can't. lot of space, too. Yes. Like, you know? Like, it's not just a solid plug. No, because it'd be of like those... trying to plug someone with a corkscrew. Yeah, exactly. Because those the branches would tear right through the skin, and you go past There'd it. There'd be blood there's, everywhere. There's no plug there anymore. So yeah, she's just bleeding like a fucking hog. Yeah. The wound would be too large for the blade to completely stop the bleeding. Yeah. That's, that's nothing more than conjecture. I mean, that's science. In reality, the victim was stabbed with the shishito. Shishito, sorry. Even a weapon of this nature may still sometimes slide out smoothly and may still sometimes stop the blood loss. Mm, debatable. May, may still sometimes. <laughs> that doesn't hold I'm up in court. I'm not finished. Ooh, that's There's cool. still one more conclusive contradiction. You you still got more? Now, it could be because they keep saying up to the hilt, but that shit ain't going to the hilt. 
No. <laughs> that shit's like... That is a long... That's a fourth of the way there. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this one is simple. If this sword really was thrust in all the way It'd to the It'd be covered in blood. <laughs> Why is there only blood on yeah. the tip of it? Uh. <laughs> I mean, the, the strongest <laughs> conjecture of this. <laughs> if this witness were telling the truth, then there should be blood on the entire length of the sword. Yep. No! Yep. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> order, order, where? <laughs> Bravo, Miles Edgeworth. Raising this many contradictions from a single piece of evidence. All the other attorneys I know could maybe manage one, if that. <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> Even God him. damn, poor judge. You have proven contradictions regarding the murder weapon, but... Having come this far, there can only be one answer. And that is... The She's weapon sweating. used to kill the victim was no. not the Shishishido. I think that was planted. Whoa, what? Yeah. A foolishly foolish idea born from the foolish mind of a foolhardy foolish fool. That's a record. Yeah, That's it is. That's a record for, I think. <laughs> it is. Let's examine this again. What was it that made this, that made us think this sword was the murder weapon? Uh, wait. Well? <laughs> <laughs> he almost turned to the judge there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> it's because Mr. Gami was holding it. Exactly. However, if you reflect on this, that's the only basis we have to assume such a thing. Also, don't feel bad if your voice is waver, because I realized when I was going back editing, um, when I was me, or when I was Edgeworth, Gumshoe, and Larry, Larry turned into Gumshoe for like 10 minutes yeah. in there. Because I, I was having trouble, so don't feel bad. <laughs> Oh, it's God. rough, man. It's rough. Anyways. Because you have to like, like when you go to another character after doing one, especially when there's like two kind of similar accents, like a Southern accent and a, and a, like a Brooklyn accent, both kind of have a so sort of twang to it. Yeah. So when you're trying to figure it out, you, your, your brain has like that little loading circle when it's buffering. Yeah. <laughs> trying to figure out what it was. Yeah. The impression left by the scene was just too strong. That is what influenced us. Yep. It influenced us to believe that the Shishishida was the murder weapon. Because it's like, oh, boom, she's dead and it's there. But... Yeah. Oh, no, no, where? <laughs> so maybe the Shishishida was not the murder, the murder weapon. <laughs> Even if that is the case, it changes nothing, Miles Edgeworth. The sister here saw everything. She saw the defendant stab the victim with a sword-like object. Actually, it was the backwards, I thought. That, 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 that's true. She saw the backwards. Your response, Mr. Edgeworth. It was the backwards. She saw her pull it out. Hmm. <laughs> if that is so, I'll like the, <laughs> I would like the prosecution to answer the obvious question it raises. The obvious question? Yes. Namely, where did the real murder weapon disappear to? Hmm. <laughs> it goes without saying that the police searched the main hall and the surrounding area. Perhaps the prosecution can enlighten us as to what, as to if a, 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 a redo, well, redo. Edgeworth. <laughs> Perhaps the prosecution can enlighten us as to if a sword-like object was found. Him and his vocab. Th that's. Uh, Answer the question, Miss Von Karma. Mm. Yes. Or no no <laughs> evidence of that kind was found. <laughs> mm, another mystery to throw on to the pile. A trial without a murder weapon is a tricky beast. Excuse me, could I say something? I just remembered something, actually. <laughs> what is it, sister? <laughs> what is it, sister? <laughs> <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was just thinking. It's possible. That just maybe. What actually happened was... It was just over there. Um... <laughs> what, what exactly are you going on about? <laughs> on the boot? <laughs> the murder weapon, I mean. Maybe... <laughs> I think I might know where the sword was disposed of. You what? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, sh she's going to destroy that woman. <laughs> well, then. I think we need to hear testimony from you one more time, sister. Impossible. <laughs> what else? What else could this old woman have seen? I've seen everything. <laughs> I know the future. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the location of the weapon. I saw the murder at around 11 p.m. Okay. And after asking that it be reported, I went out to the main gate. And there I saw tracks! Tracks that indicated the snowmobile had been used! It takes 15 minutes to walk to Dusky Bridge, but... But less than five using one of those! 
Maybe they threw the weapon into Eagle River and came back when I was knocked out. Iris could have done that. She can drive a snowmobile after all. <laughs> she knows about that river. <laughs> 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 Say, like, hey, she knows about that river real well. She knows that she can wipe things away. <laughs> We're near. <laughs> Please tell us everything you know right away next time. Well, I'm not in the best of shape. What with my back and my age, you know? Quiet. You're fat like a pig. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There were indeed snowmobile tracks in front of the main gate. Here is a photograph. Look at this photograph! Look okay. at this photograph! <laughs> okay. A snowmobile, eh? I see. Well, it certainly has an interesting theory. And footsteps. And footsteps. Yeah. Let's keep that in mind right but through the main gate. But there were footsteps that weren't coming from the snowmobile, might I add. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm going to... Oh, wait, I don't think we have it yet. Or no, wait, uh, no, we don't have it yet. The Shit. tracks begin in front of Hazakura Temple and run all the way back to Dusky Bridge. All right, now we have the tracks photo. That solves your pesky little problem, yes? I want to say something. Granted, I might be getting way too ahead of myself because way back in the day, there might not have been enough detail for this, but I want to look and I want to see. Okay, mm. there could be detail here that I'm seeing that I don't know if it would have been in the last games, but... Do you see what I'm seeing, though? Like, the tracks are coming from... Oh, yeah, there's no tracks coming yeah. from the snowmobile. And not to mention... Well, actually, that causes even weirder things, because the snowmobile tracks go over the footprints. Yeah. Because where the footprints is, if the footprints were afterwards, it would, you'd see a footprint inside those tracks. That means but the snowmobile someone was after. left that place after the snowmobile showed up. Before the snowmobile showed up. Oh, yeah, before. Yeah. We might have to use that fact. Maybe. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> we'll just keep that in mind. So let's see what they're going to say about it now. We're probably overthinking things way too much. Probably. Right, the pesky problem. The Eagle River's current is quite swift, meaning that it doesn't freeze over in winter. Making it the perfect place to dispose of the murder weapon. Weapon, sorry. Did she really go to the river to dispose of the murder weapon? She's disposed of herself there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> she did. Yeah. Mr. Edward, your cross-examination, please. Okay. That was weird to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Okay. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. <laughs> That's what I'm used to saying. <laughs> Yeah, I saw tracks in the case. Meanwhile, poor used. Phoenix is in the friggin' hospital during all this. Yeah, worrying about Maya and Pearl because no one's looking for them right now. Yeah, or they have no way to get to them. Right yeah. Now. All right, so the weapon in the room is locked out. <sighs> all right, so let's try and see this. Yeah. So, as I recall, there was a snowmobile outside the main gate when I visited. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's the only one we have. It'll run no matter how much snow falls. Now, you're certain the snowmobile was there at the main gate when you arrived? Yes, of course. I w it was parked in front of the gate. So, she had already gone, discarded the murder weapon, and returned by that time. I'm not sure if this is really relevant. What should I do? Press further. I need answers to every possible doubt. The snowmobile in question. Was it still warm at that time? Uh, 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 eh? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, Miles Edgeworth? <sighs> I'm playing to a slow crowd here. <laughs> it goes without saying that using a snowmobile will heat its engine. If it was still warm, then it means it was recently used. Ah, see, I never thought of that. Mm, that's right, I overlooked that too. Of course you did. <laughs> then answer the question, please, witness. Uh, I don't often go around touching hot engines. <laughs> <sighs> Let me see something. What? Oh, I was going to say, if there was like snow on it, then it would have been like it wouldn't have been used. But it, there's no snow on it. So. But it would have been at the main gate. Hey. Anyways, hmm. <laughs> that was the that was the entrance to the temple. That wasn't the main gate. No, that's the that's 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 the main gate to the temple. Oh. Yeah, that's the main gate that goes into the. I'm so the used area. to seeing it super up close. I know, right? I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> Anyways, 
This is you. Oh, however, now <laughs> that you mention it, there wasn't any snow on it. Snow? No, oh, yeah, there goes that. Yes, so. for some reason, only the snowmobile wasn't covered in snow. Hmm. There wasn't any snow on it? Curses! <laughs> it seems highly likely that the killer did use a snowmobile then, eh? How long does it take to get to Dusky Bridge by snowmobile? And now it goes on the next thing. It takes 15 minutes to go. They realize there's some time to use one of those. Okay, can't see anything wrong with that. Maybe the third river was well, knocked out. Refresh our memory. How long were you knocked out for? Like I said, somewhere between 10 to 20 minutes. It's possible to get to the bridge and back in 10 minutes using the snowmobile. After you can see, that is more than enough time. Hmm. Is that all you wish to concede, Miles Edgeworth? <sighs> <laughs> concede <Hey>. your pride! <laughs> Ask you if she can drive a snowmobile after all. Okay. While well, it would have been impossible time-wise, one only remains out of place here. Oh, what would this mystery element be? Fire? The killer's wind, reasoning, Your Honor. Earth? No. <laughs> Why did the killer do all of this? Why go to the Eagle River to dispose of the murder weapon when there are other methods? Mmm, too many unanswered questions. You were sponsored by karma. Ah! Turning to me for help over the slightest thing. Why don't you sing for yourself once in a while? Your honor. Jesus. What? <laughs> she was over the top as always. Uh, anyway, whatever the reason, the fact remains that the defendant could have done this. The murder weapon was disposed of in the river. Another point to, to me, Miles Edgeworth. Another mystery to feed the fire. Was there any reason to go and throw the murder weapon? Throw away the murder weapon. Likely there is surely a problem with this testimony. All I have to do is start poking at holes in its flawed account. Huh. <sighs> Not sure. Where though? Now then, so let me start with this. Where's the autopsy report? Yeah. Down between 10 and 11, so it still matches. Yeah. Mm. I have to ask about here. I went to the main gate. Huh. Time is obviously a big thing with with this case. There I saw been, tracks. There's, there's been so there's been so much talk about times and minutes and stuff. You know, <sighs> like ringing the bell at so and so time and like, you know. Yeah. Hmm. What if they jumped over the snowmobile tracks? <laughs> I mean, I also think the footprints are a big thing in this. Because, like, they, oh, they're obviously. there for a reason. Like, they wouldn't have that, that no, little they, detail in there no. if it wasn't important. So, that I've means, saved. But we can't tell if someone was leaving the main gate or coming back. I want to assume, even though it's very small, it kind of looks like it's more going towards the gate. So I don't know. Let me... No. Okay. Mm. I was hoping that'd do something for me. Yes, I was only testing you. <laughs> I was I was just testing you, Your Honor. Just testing your theories me Meanwhile, here. Phoenix is like, oh, sorry. <laughs> hmm. Some of those. Mm. Those knocked out. Iris could have done that. She can drive a snowmobile after all. But those footprints could have been. Wait. I think they could have been hers when she was coming back from the temple. But then, wouldn't the snowmobile things, the snowmobile track, be there? Before the footprints? Here's what I'm gonna here's what I'm gonna think actually. Do you and know this what is I mean, what we, this is what we might need for the contradiction. Is I think that those footprints are hers yeah. because she came back from the temple to go take the bath. That's, and that's what that's I why just she was said. There. The thing is, is that if that was the case and the snowmobile went over those tracks, the snowmobile was back before she came back to the temple. Mm, that's what I'm. I, I literally just said that, except the opposite way that you just said it. Wait a minute, so I'm gonna try and <laughs> press this, so maybe we can get a little bit on this. So, whoa, 
You asked Phoenix Wright to report the crime, correct? Right, right, the one with the one who trampled me. <laughs> it seems she is the type to hold a grudge. <laughs> oh yeah, he accidentally stepped on her. <laughs> yeah. There isn't a phone in the main hall, so I sent him to the bridge. Phoenix Wright. He didn't even have his cell phone on him. He had forgotten it at home, apparently. What a naive boy, as always. Not only do I always carry my phone, carry my phone, but I always have my whip in hand too. Jesus. <laughs> Anyway, I was really scared and it, it was taking him a while to get back. So I thought I'd go out by the main gate for a spell. <sighs> God damn it. I'm really not sure. It was taking him a while to get back because he fucking fell off the bridge. <laughs> so then does that raise the question of are those Phoenix's footsteps then? Mm. Is he going out of there? Trying to get to the phone. True. Which meant that that snowmobile came afterwards. But I don't have any way to put those two together. <sighs> I think that maybe there's something here. It takes 15 minutes to go to Dusty Ridge for less than five using one of those. This is tricky. It is. You see what I mean? There's a lot of times and stuff. Yeah. It's like a math problem. One of those word problems. Alright, so when Phoenix went to the bridge, the lightning had already struck it. Yeah. That's important, I think, if those are his footprints. You know what? I almost wonder if... I don't, I don't know if this will somehow be it, but like this part I feel like is something that we kind of need to throw it at So Maybe we can use the weather report by saying that like it takes 15 minutes to walk there and if you say you saw it at 11 and this is the It's probably not gonna work. No. Okay, uh. I'm, I'm going way too much on a branch. What the fuck? Uh. Maybe next we'd use the map. Is this one of those like there. things that is obvious but doesn't seem obvious so it makes people mad when we don't get it uh someone's screaming at us right now yeah but i just don't know what is going on and we refuse to use a walkthrough so i already did I'm the map and the weather data right here but that just makes this even more difficult <laughs> Uh, and this wouldn't have anything to do with the track, so I guess maybe it's not that statement after all. <sighs> I thought she stayed in her room. Maybe that's it. No, it's not. Never uh, mind. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking uh, die. I'm quiet because I'm trying to think. If you saw the murder around 11 p.m., <laughs> this is the last thing you I can sure about that time? <laughs> you sure about that time? <laughs> yes, I was worried about it after all. Why was that? Because I have a strong sense of responsibility, especially at this time of year. The acolyte was being doused in freezing water at the time. I couldn't very well take it easy on the bath all night now, could I? So at 11, I decided to leave Hazakura Temple. Her estimation of the time seems reliable, at least. Please continue, sister. God, I don't fuck know. Uh, I'm a dumbo. I'm gonna figure this out eventually. But up, up. The photo. Okay, the photo works. Okay. I. Uh, uh, I admit this photograph proves something. But what is it? <laughs> proves a snowmobile is used on the night of the murder. Yeah. Okay. You finally <laughs> accepted the inevitable, it seems, Miles Edgeworth. However, what do you see that we don't, boy? If what the witness says is true, then why is there only one set of tracks? Oh, yeah. I mean, that is a good point. I, Duh. I, I, oh, my I, God. Well, I mean, that, that, I, I was just confused by, like, what they were going with. There. Okay, fuck it. Okay. Uh, there would All have right. been two. Because to and from. Yeah. Oh, my. I don't know why oh. I assumed that for some reason it was like, oh, there's two travel paths there, so yeah. I didn't even think of it. Okay. Oh, God so, damn it. All anyways. Right. What do you mean? Iris left Hazakura Temple, threw the weapon into the river, and then returned. 
If this was the case, then actually there should be two sets of tracks in the snow. Oh, we're dumb. <laughs> yeah. We're dumb. <laughs> those from heading out to the bridge and those from coming back. Ah, you're right. Hmm. You are forgetting one thing, Miles Edgeworth. Yeah. On the night of the murder, it was snowing. The tracks leading to the bridge were erased by the snowfall. But there's footprints. Yeah. <laughs> This removes your precious contradiction now, doesn't it? I see. While she was out of the river, the snow stopped. Leaving just the return tracks in the snow. Then why would the shallow yeah. footprints be there? What do you have to say now, Miles Edgeworth? Is there a flaw in her theory? Yes. I, I, I would like to think so, yes. Yeah, I, I, I would like to believe so. Because there's, there's little feet prints. We'll cover one set of tracks. Eh, I think it's a contradiction. Yeah, <laughs> it's flawless. <laughs> <laughs> the tracks are recovered by snow. What a nice theory. <laughs> However, Miss Von Karma, that is impossible. Hmm. Would you care to explain why there is a rude index finger currently pointed in my general direction? <laughs> <laughs> no need. The evidence will do all the talking for me. On the night of the murder, the killer went to and returned from Dusky Bridge. In order to dispose of the murder weapon, the outgoing tracks were raised by snow. Or so claims Miss Von Karma. Mr. Edward, present your evidence to the contradict con contrary. <laughs> I'm actually going to wait to save just in case this. Uh, I'm not supposed to do this, but. As I go in tracks, are not curved by snow. I'm it's just going habitual to, saving. I'm going to firmly believe yeah, the, that the it is prints. the tracks photo. Right? Here's the evidence. What do you have to say, Your Honor? This reminds me when I was a little hockey goon in training. When I was a child, I hoped for the school to be canceled due to heavy snowfall. Perhaps, Mr. Edgeworth, it would have been better for you had the court been snowed in. Ow. That's all this evidence says to me in any case. Really? Ow. Nothing else? Nope, nothing else. Oh dear. You seem to have missed Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I guess I did Ow. that wrong. What? This incident occurred after 11 p.m. In which case, there has to be. Oh, wait, I have a weather report. Oh. Hadoi, well, I'm oh gonna do that God. next time. Why are we so I, dumb? Because we don't think about these things. We're two steps ahead we, of ourselves, we think unfortunately. too hard. We do. We're dumb. <laughs>